my name is Bookie and welcome to another Tips and Tricks from Apps Events and Acer. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a card sort activity within Jamboard using a combination of background text or images and sticky notes. This approach will help to reduce the number of items that a student is moving within each frame. It will also help to prevent any key information or diagrams being accidentally deleted. Using Google Sheets is an easy way to create the sentences or images for the card sort activity. The first slide shows the sentences that students will need to match keywords to. The second slide has an image that students will use to demonstrate their recall and understanding. In order to create the background text or image within Jamboard, I will convert the first slide into an image by downloading it as a JPEG image. And to do this, I click on File, highlight Download. I've got a number of options. I will select JPEG image, which will convert the current slide. I will then do the same steps with the second slide by going to File, Download, selecting the JPEG image. So now my background text and images are ready to use within Jamboard. When I go on to Jamboard, I will add the text or image background by selecting Set Background, clicking on the image icon, selecting Browns, and then the images I created are already here. So I'll go for the first one, the text, click and then open. And the background has been set there. To add the sticky notes, I will go to the sticky note option on the left hand side. And then write down the text that I want the students to use as the keyword option. If your sticky note is the size that you want it to be, you can duplicate it by clicking the three dots on the right hand side and then duplicating. And then duplicating. Now you'll see that I've got three sticky notes because what I want to do is to add a little bit of challenge and this is easy to do. So you can add a little bit of challenge by adding more sticky notes um, so that students really have to think about which is the correct answer. So the sticky notes can be put by the correct sentences. You'll also notice that I have the alphabet for each sentence and numbers for the keywords. It makes it easier to read out and provide the answers, the correct answers. I go to the second frame. I do exactly the same thing to so now incorporate the image as the background by selecting backgrounds. Click on the image icon, go to browse. Click on the second image I converted, open. Select on sticky notes. Change the color quite easily. Save. And again, because the size is how I want it to be, I will just duplicate that. Duplicate again. I will click within. Click within the sticky notes just to change the text. deliberately adding in some incorrect answers. And I'll do this a number of times until I have either five keywords or to add challenge more than five keywords to really get the students to think about which component they are looking at and what the correct name is. 
I hope you found that useful. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel and visit the website appsevents.com for even more tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.